Freedom dude. Ooh, we. This is a big one. I tell you this, right? So, so very important. Voting, voting, voting. Um, right now, we're in an election year, right? Right now, vote voting polls are open. One of the biggest, biggest things that holds the black community back is our inability to vote. And they have these um, hurdles. They have these um, they have these different um, things, objections that we have to be obstacles, should I say, that we have to overcome just to vote. Yet alone, even once we do find out and get to that voting table or to that voting poll, we don't even know who the candidate is. We have no idea. So we uh, mark my words, a lot of African-Americans, we just look for a black name. You just look for a black name and we'll click it, you know, if we make it to that voting poll. But they make it very, very difficult for us to vote. And they do this by A, doing um, the ID, the new ID. A lot of, a lot, who you think are going to be the people that's not going to be able to get their new ID? It's going to be the minorities. It's going to be the blacks, you know, it's going to be the browns. We're not going to be the ones that's going to have that ID that's going to stop us from voting, you know. Another thing is they do not put these voting polls in the inner city in the black community in the hoods. They are not there. Guess where they're at? They're over there in the suburbs or they're somewhere else far away where you got to catch two or three buses. You have to be able to walk, you know, to these to these polls for us to have good turnouts. You know, it's not that black people don't want to vote. We want to vote. We just can't get to the voting pants. We can't get to the voting polls. Not just that. You know, we don't have the right credentials. We are American citizens, but we don't have the right credentials for us to go out there and vote. So we're not going to waste our time to go out there and vote. We could do everything else online, you know. We could do everything else by mail. You get bills by mail. So why do we have such a big problem with us allowing us to do mail-in ballots, you know? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because that right there is going to change the game, you know. Because more minorities than ever will vote if you have it to mail in. You know what I'm saying? So I really feel as if the ability to vote is one of the biggest oppressions that we do have. And not only that. I feel as if that all felons and if you're an inmate in prison, you should be able to vote. Why are you not able to vote because you're a felon? Like, what? What, what makes you to lose your right to vote because you're a felon? See what I'm saying? It's all a tool that is there to um, oppress. It's an oppression tool. So uh, if you, I feel as if that all felons should be able to vote. Not only that, somebody, this right here, this right here will make somebody rich. Some IT guy that's out there right now, make a platform, right? where politicians on the local level, on the state level, and on the federal level, they could put their little promo, or their little commercial, or whatever the case is, on this platform. And there's not flooded by all of this advertisement and BS. No, no, no. Make it that person and that right there. When I get on my phone, I'm able to scroll and find out who this candidate is and what their beliefs are, you know? And not only that, it shows me exactly what needs to be done to vote where these vote-in polls are at and all the things that, you know, what their roles and their goals, different things. I guarantee you, A, they'll probably be a multi-billion dollar uh, platform or um, social media, whatever you want to call it. But not only that, it will cause instant change, okay? So if we can get out there and be able to um, vote, have the fair ability to vote, change the world. Freedom do.